Hey everyone, it's Rachel. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to create wave hair using the Color Therapy app. This is such a fun tutorial for an alternative way to color hair. You can simplify the strokes to give it a more whimsical effect. If you want to follow along, search for this image under People Bubble Ladies. Okay, so I just wanted to show you my inspiration because I thought it was really cool and I wanted to give tribute to the artist by It's Pretty Random. I really liked how she did some transparency in the waves. So let's tap to fill in the colors first. I'm using the third color on the Skin Shades palette, just to tap in the face. And then choose a neutral color for the background. I'm using the fifth color on the top row of the Dark Shades palette. Now, since I want to make her hair kind of transparent, let's use her skin color. And I'm using the airbrush tool. I'm just doing size 50, opacity 100. And just, I'm kind of widening her head, just making it like we can see it through her hair. Just really loosely, maybe her neck too, a little bit. And then using that blue from the background, let's just fill in all of her hair and the areas around her face. You can turn on coloring inside the lines mode. Set to on as needed and just fill in the hair. We're just filling in the, the area that we didn't color for her skin and head. So she's going to look kind of like a bald alien right now. And then at this point, you want to finish all the face details. So just go ahead and add in your shading and your shadows, the makeup, whatever you want to do. Okay, so I finished up the makeup. I added some shadows very lightly. You don't have to do too much shadows where, where the head is, where the hair is going to cover it. Um, so now we get to do the fun part, where, which is the hair. Now go to the blue palette. I'm using the third pillar from the right on the top row. Airbrush tool, size 15 and opacity at 75. Now with coloring inside the lines mode set to off, we want to just kind of outline the shape of the waves. So. It's kind of helpful to use her hair, her existing hair in the template as some of the lines. So we can just kind of go like that and maybe just bring around little areas where the hair kind of comes outward too. And it can kind of just curl around. So you just have fun with it. I'm doing some little swirls for the waves here and there. You can lower your stroke opacity as well if needed. And with the oil tool, let's use size at 80 and opacity at 6. And just brush in some of that blue into the hair. You can use the template. If you want to use some of the, the hair in the template, just turn on coloring inside the lines mode to on. Just kind of follow the curves that you made. Just adding it in super loosely. Just brushing it down to make fun little waves. And again, you can just leave some areas untouched, so if you, you can have some transparency. Let's go back to that lighter color blue we had earlier, and we can add, add in some more waves. Just kind of blending those lighter blue lines now. Just blending in the colors. Now let's use the second color on the second row with the oil tool. With the oil tool, let's do size 13, opacity 45. Now we're going to start to draw the white part of the wave so you can zoom in. And I'm kind of just doing like a quick little squiggly motion. You can draw in some like defining white lines, some swirls. You can add some of those white lines into the hair just here and there. These lines basically just define how the waves will look. They will look more like waves now than just swirls. Now let's use a splatter tool. So I'll do opacity 100 and size at 24. And I'm just going to add it into the ends of the wave. So it's kind of like the water is just splashing and there's bits of water lying around the white part. It's the white part of the waves. Now don't overdo it. You can also play with the transparency of the splatter tool, lower it all the way half down. You can add it in a few other places if you want. It just depends on how much you want to add. Let's add in some more white tips with the oil tool. This time size 1 and opacity at 100 and we'll use white. So now we're defining those white lines even further. And then with the pen tool, let's do size 6, opacity 100. And now I'm just adding in some tiny little dots for extra details now. So if you, it kind of helps to like dot them, kind of just curling over with the wave. Optionally, you can also add the splatter tool with blue, or you can also even do the fairy dust tool. 
This can also be applied to other images in the app to create a sea god or goddess. You could also add a starfish or sea creatures for fun. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.